Hi everyone. If you've been keeping up with my recent videos, then you know that I've released a Jewelry CAD library, and one of the features of that library is this Grasshopper script that allows you to make taper gems. And it's okay. It, it does the job. It's got a few issues, but the biggest problem it had is that it doesn't put prongs in there for you. So uh, I've been working on another Grasshopper script. It isn't done yet, but I just wanted to show you the progress that I'm making on that. So this is what I've got so far on the new version that I'm working on. Again, it's not ready, uh, but it's what I'm working on. I just wanted y'all to see it. You can do all of the same things. You can, you know, you can taper it in either direction. Uh, you can rebuild it. Oh, by the way, you can use it for uh, stones that don't taper as well, that stay the same size. Um, you can rebuild the curve and uh, make it any, any shape that you want, which you can already do with the uh, other script as well. So, and it will just follow. Of course, if you go too far, uh, that, might, that might not do right, you know especially these, these prongs here at the beginning. But that's something that you can, uh, you know, play around with, right? So you can get some very interesting shapes going on and, uh, and it'll just follow, follow it for you. Um, it also prints the diameters of the prongs up here along the top and it prints the diameters of the gemstones along the bottom down here. Um, you can adjust the start point, of course. Uh, you can change the direction uh, that the uh, gemstones go in. You can change the count. And you can change the gap between the gemstones. You can change the amount of overlap that the prongs have, how much they overlap the, uh, the gemstones. And I also I made it where you can offset the prongs a little bit, like if you want them to go outside or you want them to come inside. Uh, so you can go uh, inside or outside uh, the boundary lines with the prongs. Or you can uh, be exact, you know, have them be exactly against that boundary line. And to be honest, I wasn't too sure that I was going to be able to figure out how to position those prongs and get them the right size like I wanted, uh, but some kind of way I figured it out, surprisingly. And by the way, I would have loved to have had a tool like this uh, where uh, the gemstones and the prongs would follow the shape of the curve. Uh, I had nothing like this when I worked in the industry. I used software called Matrix, which is a modified version of Rhino, and they had a lot of built-in tools to help you with uh, gem layout. And they had tapered uh, a tool for taper gems as well. But nothing like this, where the gemstones would just automatically follow, the gemstones and the prongs would just automatically follow uh, the curve as you designed it and laid it out. So I would have loved to have had uh, something like that back when I worked in the industry. Uh, so that's just a basic overview of what I've got so far. Of course, it doesn't actually put the gemstones or the prongs in there yet. Uh, and it is a pretty, a pretty complicated uh, script. <laughs> got a lot it's got a lot going on uh, but uh, anyway uh, that's what I've got so far and uh, I don't know how long it'll take me to finish this uh, to get it ready to be used it could be a few days it could be a few weeks it could be a few months uh, the reason it might be kind of long is I, I have something coming up uh, in my personal life a deadline that I've got to deal with and I don't know I may have to put this to the side and deal with that first we'll see we'll see how that goes but uh, I just wanted y'all to see what I'm working on. And when I get it done, I'll go ahead and upload it to cgtrader.com and make it available uh, for the libraries over there, both the free and the paid version. All right. Uh, so um, also, I want to say something about the libraries too. So if you were thinking about getting uh, the paid version of the library, which the only difference between the paid and the free version is the paid version has more gemstone models and more materials. But please get the free version first and make sure that it works good on your computer and on your particular version of Rhino. So I think people, for instance, with Mac, Macintosh computers are, are having problems with the library and people with earlier versions of Rhino might be having some issues as well. So just please get the free version first and make sure that it works good on your computer.
And then if you still want the paid version, go ahead and get that. And just remember, the only difference between the two is the number of gym models and the number of materials. And in case anyone is interested, I'll put links to the free and paid versions of the library in the description below the video. Okay, so uh, that's it for this video. I just wanted to let y'all see what I'm working on. And uh, I also want to say thank you uh, for everyone watching my videos and subscribing to my channel. And I hope to see all of you in future videos.